welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will simulate the capacitor coupled voltage follower circuit using LT spice tool before going into this design and simulation I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below in a capacitor coupled voltage follower circuit to have its input and output capacitor coupled the non-inverting input terminal must be grounded via the resistor R1. The resistor is required to bypass current to amplifying non-inverting input terminal. A resistor equal to R1 might be included in the series with inverting terminal to equalize the voltage drop. The circuit with its output capacitor coupled, small DC offset voltage are blocked by the capacitor. The largest possible resistor value are normally selected to ensure minimum circuit power dissipation and minimum current demand. And the smallest possible capacitor value are normally used for their small physical size. The maximum value of resistor value R1 for an op-amp is determined by following mm -hmm. equation. The circuit input impedance is R1 parallel across Z of I where Z of I is the input impedance at the op-amp non-inverting input terminal and it is given by the following equation. Due to the negative feedback which is employed in the voltage follower circuit, Zn is equal to R1. Thus, the load resistance RL has a lower resistance than R1. Each capacitor value is inversely proportional to the resistance in series with it so C of 2 is usually larger than C of 1. The impedance of C of 1 should be smaller than Zn. Circuit output voltage that is V of 0 is divided across the capacitor C of 2 and the load resistance RL and this is determined by the following equation. The circuit low 3 dB frequency that is F of 1 occurs when the capacitor is equal to the load resistance where the capacitor is equal to the load resistance at F of 1. Then we can calculate the value of capacitor that is C of 2 equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into F1 into RL. Now let us design a capacitor coupled voltage follower using LM741 op-amp. Assume that the lower cutoff frequency for the circuit would be 50 Hz and the load resistance as 3.9 kilo ohm. Value of R1 max is equal to 0.1 into VBE divided by IB max. From the data sheet, we know the value of IB max and based on this, the value of R1 max will be equal to 140 kilo ohm. We would consider a standard 120 kilo ohm for this design purpose. Now, we can calculate the value of capacitor that is C of 1 which is equal to R1 divided by 10 at frequency F of 1. Based on the calculation, we get the value of C of 1 is equal to 0 0.27 microfarad. Similarly, we will calculate the value of capacitor C of 2 where capacitor C of 2 would be equal to load resistance RL at frequency F of 1. Based on the values, 
we obtain the capacitor value C of 2 which is equal to 0.82 microfarad. Now let us start the design. Now click on components and select LM741 and place this component on the schematic window. Next we require to place a resistor and a capacitor symbol for our design purpose. So click on resistor symbol and place the resistor R1. Next we have to place a capacitor. So click on capacitor symbol and place the capacitor C1 on the schematic window. Click on wire and connect the capacitor C1 to resistor R1 and the resistor R1 to the terminal 3 of op-amp 741. Next click on ground and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window. Connect the resistor R1 to ground terminal. Now right click on the resistor R1 and change the value to 120 kilo ohm. Similarly right click on the capacitor value C1 and change the value to 0.27 microfarad. Click on resistor and again place a resistor R2 on the schematic window. Click escape and now click on the capacitor symbol and place the capacitor C2 on the schematic. To rotate the capacitor use control plus R. Now right click on the resistor value R2 and change the value to 3.9 kilo ohm and right click on capacitor C2 and change the value of capacitance to 0.82 microfarad. Now click on wire, connect the output of op-amp 741 to capacitor C2 and from capacitor C2 to the resistor. Now click on ground and place the ground on the schematic window. Connect the resistor R2 to the ground. Now for this design purpose we require an input voltage and also the voltage across the op-amp uh, terminal 7 and 4. So click on component and place a voltage source in the schematic window which will be VCC and VEE. Now click on place label and type the net value as VCC and port type as input and place two net label VCC on the schematic window. Similarly we have to place a net label for VEE and select the port type as input. Now place this VEE on the schematic window. Click escape. Click on ground connection and place the ground connection on the schematic. Connect the VCC label to source V1 and then connect the negative terminal to ground. Similarly, connect the VE label to positive terminal of V2 and negative terminal to ground. Now connect the VCC label to the positive terminal of op-amp and the negative to VEE. Next right click on the voltage source V1. Define the DC value as 15 volt. Similarly right click on 
voltage source V2 and define the value as minus 15 volt. Next, click on wire and connect the output of op-amp 741 to the negative terminal that is terminal 2 of the op-amp. Now click on component and we have to place an input voltage source which would drive the capacitor coupled voltage follower circuit. So now right click on the voltage source and define it as sine and define the DC offset as 0 amplitude as 1 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now click on ground and place this ground on the schematic window. Connect the capacitor to positive terminal of voltage source V3 and negative terminal to ground. Now click on run button and we have to define it as transient and define the stop time as 4 millisecond. Now click on the input, place the probe on the input terminal. Now add a plot plane and place the probe on the output terminal. You can see the volt output of the uh, capacitor coupled voltage follower circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. Request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below.